Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. We're continuing our story looking at 1 Kings and the story of Solomon. Um, and we're in 1 Kings chapter 6. And um, this describes Solomon building the temple for God. Um, and so if you read chapters 4, 5, and 6, it's the preparation for building te the temple and then the actual building of it. And there's so many details and intricacies and it's made of the finest materials and it costs a lot of money and everything's overlaid in gold. And it's this beautiful description of what the temple is. And the reason that they spent all this time and money and resources and energy is because it's the temple of God. It, it's supposed to be holy because that's where the spirit of God dwelt to be among his people. Um, and that's the same for us today, except we don't have a temple we go to, and it's not actually even a church building. Um, that's the temple of God. So we're going to look at 1 Corinthians 3.16, and it says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. And then 2 Corinthians 6 says that we are the temple of the living God. How amazing is that truth? And see, I know a lot of people that don't like studying the Old Testament or don't see a necessity for it, but it's so important to study all of Scripture, to understand it and how it's all connected together. And when we look at the intricacies and and how they built the temple and why it was so significant in the Old Testament, that helps us understand the importance of us being the temple of God now. And that should change how we live, to know that if you have a relationship with Jesus, that you believe Jesus is the Son of God, the Savior of the world, that he came and lived a perfect and sinless life. He died on the cross to pay for your sins, was buried, rose three days later, and you have committed your life to following him. Then God has put his spirit inside of you um, and he dwells there. And it says that he, God gives us his spirit so that he guides us, that he leads us, that we understand scripture. He's our guarantee for eternity. He prays for us on our behalf when we don't know what to pray for. All of those are amazing, wonderful things. And so my question is, do you care for the temple of God and, and, and live like they did in the Old Testament? Do you take care of your body physically so that you have energy and health so that you can serve others uh, and glorify God? Do you um, speak words of encouragement and truth to yourself or do you tear yourself down? Do you live in a way that is honoring and glorifying the temple of God or defiling it? Um, we all have choices to make, but I hope that you live in a way that honors and glorifies God uh, and the temple that he has chose to live in. And so will you live in a way that is completely surrendered to the power of the Holy Spirit that is living inside of you and honoring and making God's temple holy. I hope you have a great day.